962radio.com. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Tajie Jeff, holding down right here live on 962radio.com. And I got a very, very special guest in the room, uh, movie actress, mm-hmm. producer, uh, director. director, all of that, all of that. Uh, been in the game for over 30 plus years. Yeah, it's, TV and films. Let's slow down on that, though. Slow down on that. I mean, we don't. Have I mean, but I'm saying you, you're a vet. Yeah, you know what's going on. Zone. I've been here a really long time. He's saying I'm old, which is fine. No, but a lot of films, <laughs> a lot of movies, a lot of them. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. I'm glad to be Welcome here. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. So tell us why you are in Memphis. I am in Memphis to shoot uh, our new show called Comedy Come Up. Okay. Um, it is basically a new revamped revisioned it's actually a brand new show it is what deaf comedy jam and comedy central and all of those things they were they they were the start of a version of that okay it's very hard to say in television film comedy or anything else that you started something new this is something new there has never been a show that has traveled from city to city to city to highlight and showcase up and coming comedians in that specific city only Right. Our job is to go to smaller markets where maybe these hilariously funny people cannot be seen by people that can give them jobs to further their career. So what we do is we come to you. Okay. A little bit different from Deaf Comedy Jam because Very I different. Think everybody had to go to Absolutely. the location. Absolutely. And if you didn't get there and if you didn't get picked, it didn't happen. Absolutely. We come to you. That is great, great. Right here live on 962radio.com. Jasmine Lewis in the building holding it down. So what were what uh what were some of the 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 I guess um qualifications in order to be chosen for your show? Be funny. Be funny. That's it. That's it. Uh, submit your 3 to 5 minute audition of you being funny and preferably not 10 years ago. Okay. And it is going down. <laughs> it is going down, y'all. December the 5th and 6th. Shooting shooting yes okay so break it all down for us so tell us what's going to happen while you're in memphis tell us what's going to happen on the fifth and sixth okay on the fifth and sixth we will set up our cameras at the vineyard on elvis presley boulevard absolutely and we will shoot three episodes per day three episodes one episode consists of three comedians and our illustrious host Corey bell who is, is also host. in the building shout out to Corey bell yeah, turn on my camera Corey, look at my phone she do her yeah. she ready to do her uh, thing oh man <laughs> <laughs> so yes um we will shoot each comedian um they will get their 13 minute set of their best material okay and we will do that three episodes per day so a total of six episodes over the course of two days once we are done and we are edited and we are promoting and we air, we are looking to air right now. This is um, unofficial, but we just finished our deal. So okay. late February, we will be on Wow. So it's, it's going to be kind of quick. All platform. Yes, it will be very quick. So let me ask you this. I know you're in Memphis and I know we're doing the comedy come up. So you just came from what city? What city did you do last? We did Houston. So how was how was the turnout at Houston? How Houston was, was amazing. Houston was they awesome. Brought, they brought it down. Yes. They, <laughs> they, they, they burnt it down, built it back up, and burnt it down again. <laughs> they did. We started in Chicago. That was our what I call a guinea pig city because Chicago has so many funny people. It's where Corey comes from. Okay. It's where a lot of quite famous comedians come from. Obviously, it's not even our brand, but I was like, let's start where a city where we know people are funny, and we're going to figure this out here. And we did. We learned a lot. We got some amazingly funny people okay that are lesser known than the the you know headliner comedians that already live in chicago right right um we get to highlight them and showcase them and then we moved on we've learned a lot and then we grew and we moved on to houston and now we're here in memphis and we're gonna go i'm gonna do four to five cities next year wow wow And keep this going okay so it's good the comedy come up y'all this is really really big so memphis we want you to come out if you're watching and you're listening okay let me take the out Yes. The out, the out. It's just it's right because when I go online, come it's comedycomeup.com. Come come. You got Boom. it. You got it. <laughs> Hold it down live on 962radio.com. Jasmine Lewis is in the building with me. All right, so let me ask you another question. Yes. Um, so it's going to air in February, hopefully. Ish. End of February, early March, latest. Um, but we are going to do a whole rollout and promotional campaign to highlight these cities that we've already shot. Yes. So for everybody that's listening and checking us out on social media right now, you have one shot. They're in Memphis one time they're in this city one time so if you want to shoot your shot 
<laughs> it's, it's sort of say this is this is it. Well, it's it was it. for this. Now it w- it's done. Was it right? <laughs> so listen, if you but right now they, they had to follow my social media to hear the cutoff date. We we said it. Corey and I said it. It was December. It was November twenty seventh on a Monday. That was the last moment for auditions. And it's interesting because we got an influx at first, and then it kind of trailed off because people did I don't know what what they thought, and then we got an influx again. So I feel like we got some some amazing people, some persistent people. Okay. And persistence wins games. I tell you it what, it does. Listen, this is a golden opportunity for everyone out there that, that's trying to do this because people get they get into movies. They get yes. they get gigs like a lot of those comedians that came from the uh, uh, Def Comedy Jam. Headliners mm-hmm. find you and go open for me. I right. mean, headline. Let's just say, is Kevin Hart tomorrow traveling to Memphis to go to a local comedy club that's as big as this table, which is wonderful. But is he going to do that and sit down and go, hey, wow, well, you know, John is funny. Let's employ Ain't when gonna is happen. that going to happen? It's not going to happen. What producer or director is going to walk in and go, hey, yeah, I like that person. Let's put him in a movie or a TV show. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So we're doing that. That is what's going on. Comedy come up. Dot com. All right. Your boy Jazzy Jeff. Hold it down. Jasmine Lewis hanging out with us right here live. All right. So uh, is there anything else you want to put out here? Anything yes. you want to want to tell the, the, the listeners right now? Yes. It is not just about the comedians. This is a come up. A complete come up. It's a come up for everyone. Musicians. Rappers and singers, you got a song, you're unsigned, submit it to ComedyComeUp.com for your city. Because every good comedian needs a good walkout song. That's right. They get to choose their song. Your song gets featured on an international TV show because we are now Canada and Europe, not just America. So it is an international, it will be an international show. So it's it's fashion designers. You don't, you, you have a label, but you you haven't, you know. Launched your label, right? Put your sh- put your stuff on a comedian. <laughs> put it, put it in here. Put it in on here. a comedian, and let's put it on TV. So it is a come up for everyone. That is the point. It is a come up for everyone in the city. Absolutely, Memphis. So we need you to come on out now. I heard now because I've been hearing the commercials on all the outlets here in the Love city. That. So we're blowing it up. Uh, it's a free event. It is a free event. Yes. So how do we I'm get? I'm not tickets? trying to take advantage of the city. <laughs> I want to 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 everybody to have come out and have a good time and support their local comedian, artist, rapper, whatever it is. So you go on comedycomeup.com, you download the ticket, or you find Sky, who is one of my producers, on the street and get some tickets from her. Probably won't find her though today, all right? Because it's the fourth. But yes, um, we are we are everywhere. Comedycomeup.com. It says free tickets. Download your ticket. Come to the door. We are excited to have you in the city now. I'm going to come out and broadcast live, kind of hang out yes. with you guys. I'm excited but- about. That. But check this out. I got to ask you this. Now I know you got to You push for time. So you're doing actors. No, you're doing comedians. Why? Why? What made you not say actors and actresses? You know why? Why comedians? Because comedy is my heart. It's where I started. I don't do stand up. I would never disrespect stand up by doing stand up. But I'm pretty funny when I'm on a TV show or in a movie. <laughs> it's what I was kind of like. It's where I started. I started doing comedy. I, obviously, I do drama. But I started in comedy. Comedy is my heart. But all of my friends are stand-up comedians. And I saw the struggles. I saw the pain. I saw the hardships from 35 years ago. Wow. Some of them have gone on to be super famous. Some of them who made me laugh till my stomach hurt did not. And they're still here. You know what I mean? They're still gotcha. working their craft. So I've always respected comedy. I feel like laughter is the best medicine that you can get. So the more laughter we get, the better. So it's something I've always supported. It's something that's always been a passion of mine. And if I can find a platform or create a platform to make that better or put that to more eyes, ears, let's do that. Absolutely. Jasmine Lewis in the building. Hey, I applaud you for doing that because I I heard you um, on an interview talking about when you first met Ice Cube and how you... uh, you Terrified. went into the uh, audition, yeah. the audition, and you uh, you stumbled in, and it was raining it was or raining. something like that. And you, you I cracked, went in the back door, and you cracked the joke. I did, and and uh, <laughs> I'm funny. I'm just not brave enough to be funny naked on stage because you are basically <laughs> naked on stage as a stand up. So you know. Absolutely. All right, Jasmine Lewis, take it out with me this afternoon right here live on 962radio.com. We appreciate you stopping by just to chit chat with us and let us know what's going on. So let's put it back out there again. You're in Memphis. The dates, the 5th and 6th. December 5th and 6th, yes. At the Vineyard. On Elvis Presley. On Elvis Presley. So if you've got your tickets, I guess it, t- it tells you what time to be there and what to you do. You know what? We're going to start. This is my hope. Okay. We're going to start 3 4. So I'd love everybody to be in the building because they also serve food and drinks. Um, we. 
we can't eat during the show, but we can eat in between shows. Okay. So come on in, have some food, drinks. We're going to be there until uh, hopefully like, like 11. Okay. All right. So everybody three come episodes. on out. Three episodes. Three episodes tomorrow and three episodes. Wednesday. Wednesday. The 6th. The 6th. All right. So you guys got to come on out. So we call in Whitehaven, Orange Mound, uh, Cordova, yep. Germantown, East Memphis. If you're in Arkansas, you can ride on over. If you're in Mississippi, you can ride on over too to see the Are show. Are we in Memphis- Mississippi you, you, now? You're in, you're in Mississippi right now, but you're, you're like two minutes into Tennessee. Yeah, I mean, I could hop across there, but hop we're across. still in Mississippi. Come on out, Mississippi. <laughs> so we want everybody to come on out. I also have a special surprise. Everybody to come out. The comedy come up. It is going down he keeps December that. 5th and 6th. I love him. He's so special. We live right here on 960radio.com. <laughs> you got any shout outs? Uh, uh, I you do. Know, shout out to the team. Okay, let's shout out to the team, but let me first tell them about my special surprise who just landed. Okay, let's do it. So our theme song is sung by Gary Lil G. Jenkins from Silk, the lead singer okay, from Silk with the okay. silkiest voice and R&B, period. Oh, they're going to love that. He just landed. He will be in the building tomorrow and Wednesday. He will be entertaining with his new single. He will sing the theme song. He will, you know, he will, uh, okay. he will show out and do his thing. And there is no voice better to me. <laughs> I'm not in R&B. He's going to be in it's the house, It's just my personal. He's going to be in the house tomorrow okay. and uh, Wednesday, yes. All right, that is big. And shout out to the team, Sky, um, you want me to say your last name or no? She's over there. <laughs> that is one of my producers. We got Corey Bell, who is over here, our illustrious host. We've got uh, Jesse Mendez, who is actually with the crew, just landed. So okay. everybody's here. All right. The whole team is in Memphis, Tennessee. So M-Town, we need you guys to come out. We need you to come out and show the love because she got those big boy cameras, big sound system yeah. coming in. So, man, listen, we got to take advantage, take advantage of this whole comedy come up. Did That's I get that right? right? Comedy, comedy come up, you get that right. <laughs> I All right. love it. Jasmine Lewis is in the building. We want to thank you for stopping by 962radio.com. Foster mm-hmm. Vision, we appreciate you. Thank you. It's such a privilege to have you just sitting in our in our space. You, you know I love that, it. Right? I'll take all the accolades. You know, we love it. We love when you millionaires come to town. We, we love it. We love it. We love it. <laughs> all right. We're holding it down right here live on 962radio.com. Thank you. Thank you. Jasmine Lewis in the building. All right, y'all keep it right here. We got you. We'll see everybody at the Mm. Comedy come up Mm -hmm. tomorrow night (laughs) and Wednesday at the Vineyard on Elvis Presley. All right, y'all keep it right here. We got you. More bangers coming up live or 962radio.com. I love it.